And then guys, I thought I'd do something a little bit different this time, and I ventured out into my M2 comp to show you guys B-Flash. Now, B-Flash is a very new tool on the market, but it's pretty much took the market by storm. It's simple, it's easy to use, you, the login is really good, and it's got so many additional things, it just makes your life so much easier. Now, with, with like we say, with this M2 comp, finding something to log it with was pretty hard. You had a few few things on the market, like Testo and things like that, but nothing you could really use fast, where you could just get in it, do what you got to do, and get all the information you need from the car, until along came B-Flash. So, this is the B-Flash interface. So, I'm plugged into the car, OB, the OBD's in, so I'm just by OBD, nothing special. And I'm sat oh, pretty much outside my house just to show you what this thing can do. So this is the, the screen you met with. You've got programming, measurement, diagnostics, and file management. Now, the programming is pretty much what most cars are going to use first thing. Now, it's not got loads of cars on, but it is getting there, and it's getting actually quite good. So if you're, if you're doing, say, like a, a 2010 car up, then you've pretty much got quite a wide range of cars. If you're doing anything below, then it doesn't really cover a lot. But then again, it depends where you are in the market and what you're doing on a daily. So obviously, we don't really need to be digging into development for the older cars. This is what this tool is really all about. So say like this car here, it's a BMW competition. Just connect to the internet on the car instead of my phone. Bit quicker. Right, and then you've got, instead of having the list of cars like we used to have, this one just lists the ECUs, and it tells you everything you need to know. So this is the Med 17.2.G, and it tells me that you can do it by OBD, I can do it by bench, or I can do it by boot. Because when you buy these tools, it has ben OBD, bench, and boot all as one. So you'd have to buy another tool or another subscription or anything else. It's just as is. Then you come over to the side, you've got OBD, you've got bench, you've got boot. Now, uh, I'll show you the, the bench and boot as well. If you go on the bench, go on help. It will give you everything you need to know about that ECU, how to bench it. So that's obviously using the old pins. So it tells you what you need to know. It tells you how fast it goes and everything else. So that's that one. Go back. Quite easy to use. Then you've got the boot protocol. Again, you go to help, and it'll tell you everything you need to know. How to obviously comes with all the kit you need, and it tells you how to obviously boot the ECU, and then you've just got OBD. OBD is really fast. Obviously, with these kind of cars, it's server read does it in around eight seconds. Flashing the first one takes a little bit longer. After that, it's around thirty to forty seconds. So it's as fast as, it, as you're ever going to want from a tool, really. Now, what I really like about this tool is I've, I've obviously already read the car saved it in fact i'll just go through one now just to show you how to read it so i'll just go id reads off the server does all the jargon doing read save it as that again yes and off it goes download the file gets into server now the car is running as well, I haven't even turned the car off, but it's all server read, has no effect, it does it 11 seconds, so there you go, done. Now, what I really like about this tool is that I don't have to keep messing around with the OBD port, it's, it's all just pretty much plug and play, so you just have one thing plugged in, you get in the car, you do what you got to do, you finish, you get out of the car, you just take one thing out of the car, obviously if you've got multiple leads and things like that for logging, flashing and all that kind of stuff, it gets a bit messy. So, measurement. Now in here you've got make a measurement, review a measurement, and convert measurement. So if you want to create a MDF to CSV, MDF to OBD, or whatever else, because B-Flash saves in MDF files, which as a lot of people from like ETAS and Vector will know, that's pretty much the norm. So what we'll do is make a measurement. On here, you've got everything you can log quite extensively, really. It gives you a lot of options. I mean, you can even log by A2L with like, the alphas and things like that. So you've got Alpha, Fiat, Lancia, Jeep. You've got BMW Mini, Ferrari, McLaren. 
Mercedes Benz, EDC 17, Med 17. So that's another tool you can't really get hold of for logging. So that's another good addition. We've got OBD2, so it's got actually generic logs. I used that on a Porsche once, and it was really good. I couldn't really wreck the well, I couldn't find anything else that could log as many channels as B Flash did. You've got OBD extended, so it's a little bit extended for Alpha Fiat and Honda. You've got Peugeot, Citroën, Med 17, MG1, Renault, Nissan, Dacia, EMS, Baird, EMS. You've got the, and then you've obviously you've got the VW Audi group. Now it works really well for all of these. Simos 18, I found really good. Med 17 is good too, and MG One's really good as well. So there's, there's a lot of info there you can get. And you can also start saving things, as I'll show you in a minute. But uh, I'll go to, obviously, the car I'm in is a Bosch, um, a BMW Med 17 F Series. So we'll just go on that. Because it's bears and loads up. Right, now you've got make a measurement, so you can select variables to log. Now, BC have obviously given you, you know, the the, the, the general login that you can sort of tick the boxes for what most people would need, just pretty much running the car, start course, setting it up. I like to add a few, especially if I'm on the road, I like to add actual gear. You've got relative air charge, that's all done. Mass airflow done, throttle angles, obviously in a good one. Where's gate position bank one and bank two? You can have both banks. You've got exhaust camshaft angle, VVT set point, engine torque, clutch torque, lambda set point. Everything that you're pretty much going to need is on here. There's, there's not really like you've got your low pressure fuel pump, you've got your rail pressure, rail actual, you've got your EGTs, even got your oils for temp temperature and oil pressure. So you're pretty much covered for anything that you're pretty much going to need for logging. And it's just a case of ticking a box. Now, once you've ticked all your boxes, my engine's running, go to continue, and I'll put you onto this page. Now, this is where it starts to get a bit more fun because you've got, if everyone has noticed in the top corner, I've got winnels disconnected. So, from here, I can go and log the car, so start, and it'll start logging. Any second now, there you go. So, it'll start logging, that's, that's now taking the detail. And I've also got winnels disconnected. So if I go to my winnels, I have my M2 open up and a Deimos loaded in. So what I'm going to do now is start the logger. I remember how. So hardware visualizer. Start that up. Connect. Now that's connected. If we go back onto B flash, that is now connected. So winnels is connected. Now what I can do from this is now I'm opening. Oh, sorry. Obviously, pick this up from before, but I'm now live on the car. Now, I can't flash the car through this, it's not live tuning, but logging wise, you can always see where you are at any given time, and you can also replay this after. So, say if I was doing the fuel trims, I was in this area, or steady state, or whatever else, you can make your changes based on what you're getting from the, from the logs. So, your logs are here. So you can make all your changes. So what, yeah, that's really good. And you can also load this in after as well. Once you've done your log, you can go back. You can load in your your VBF file, your MDF file. Sorry, to go in here, load it in. Off you go. You can see the log live on your screen. But also, B flash in the background is sitting there, logging all these details. So if I just give it a quick rev, here you go. If I just give that a quick rev, stop. Save. Always remember to click save. Right, if I go to my logs folder, uh, new folder, BMW M2. You get to that. And to save that as side or log. And then if I go back to this now, go back to where I was. Measurement. Review a measurement. I can now open that log inside of B flash and see everything that's going on. You've got gears, you've got lambda, tip what you want, boost. It's all on here. You can uh, you can analyze it so you can see where you are. It, it just saves so much time, which is what I like about it the most really, because we, we as tuners we sell time. And obviously the more information we can get in a given time, 
the, the quicker we can do the job and the more accurate we can do the job, which is obviously more important. So you can stick this on your on your passenger side, take it down the road, it'll log by itself, come back to it, and then pull the log apart in here without having to having to another software and more subscription for like loggers and things like that. It's all just built in. So if I show you a log from uh, say another car, I'll go back. Say Audi S4 B9. That was a stop run. Open it up a little bit. You can change it to black if you want. Dark mode, so you can you got different modes you can see it in. Can't quite see. You got lambda actual, lambda set point. This is obviously a dyno pole. The intake air temp got a bit high on this, you know, 64 degrees. You've got boost pressure. You can see everything that's going on. Like it's it's so good, so easy to use. That's at like 1.1 bar. And what I like about it is I can keep all the stock runs. So when I'm when I'm not running cars, if you go back to that B flash folder. So if I go to review measurement again, if I go back to that B flash folder, all these cars I've run with B flash and I've logged and I've stored. So if I get another one on the dyno that that doesn't look quite right. I can go back over other logs and see what was what's different, you know, what why is it behaving the way it's behaving, and things like that, which is always obviously really good. You got X3M, Arc Golf R, RS3, Porsche 911. There was that Porsche 911. If I just show you that, what it gave me, I mean, it, it gave me pretty much everything I need for an NA just to see what's going on. I've got ignition timing, I've got engine speed, I've got throttle position. I've got all the ambient temps, I've got the short trim, fuel trims, I've got desired lambda, so what I wanted. You've got pretty much everything you need, you've even got your rail gauge pressure. So it's, it's really helpful to use, because that, that was just using the generic logs as well, so it's, it's, quite, it's quite a powerful tool to have and to use. And you've also got diagnostics, so you can, you can do a di you can read foot codes off your car, ECU one extended as well you've got a Campbell's logger so if you've got a flash tool or something else that you want to or, or to make your own logger or whatever else to anything that involves the Campbell's and logging this tool will also log the Campbell's so you can sit there and see what the Campbell's is doing so there's, there's so much scope for this tool it's so quite you know, you know really powerful especially with things like the OBD logger and I'm, I'm not on the logger now and it stopped. So it's, it's a very, very powerful tool. Get rid of that. That's actually recording. So get that off. So that, in a nutshell, is B Flash. So if you guys obviously want to purchase B Flash, you can. I bought mine from Chip Junior Shop, from Aftab, actually. Most tools I buy from that guy. He's just so fast and he looks after you. So of course, if, if you're really interested in tuning and you really want to delve deep and you want to invest in tuning a little bit, then I would suggest getting a B-Flash if you're looking into the newer version cars. They're, they're coming out with another... Okay, they're coming out with another few options later on in the year for doing live tuning and things like that, which I've been speaking to them about, which is looking really good. So that is...